everyone, my name is Evelina Cosplay from Dutch Cosplay Couple and in this video I will explain how I transform into Bart the Bowman from The Hobbit. I start with putting some gel on my baby hair so that it will fit underneath the wig cap. I secure the wig cap with bobby pins and hair clips so that it doesn't come off my head when I move my head because apparently I have a very weird shaped head so that wig caps and hair bands come off very easily so I use a lot of hair clips and bobby pins to make sure the wig cap stays in place. The wig itself has had quite some updates. Um, I started with a pantyhose as some sort of lace front but that didn't work out very well so I removed that and replaced it with a layer of latex and that looks fine but it's quite hard to actually blend it into your skin but I will explain what I do with it in this video so when I put on the wig I make sure it's straight and that the hairline is about in the same place as um, Bart the Bowman's hairline. Hey, there's Brian. Uh, he's going to put on his uh, Thor and Oakenshield makeup, so he's sitting right next to me. And that black thing in the corner is a piece of his chair. <laughs> okay, so I use Roseate as an adhesive for my latex hairline. I prefer this adhesive. Uh, because it's uh, it stays flexible when it's dry and uh, it's very very sticky so it secures the wig very well you have to put it on both sides so on your skin and on the latex so this is Meron's spirit gum this is a skin adhesive and I got this product in collaboration with Mink Cosplay Shop I'll put the link of the product in the description box below um, you can use spirit gum to apply uh, prosthetics or crepe wool um, for a fake beard or fake mustache and in this video I will explain what I use it for so to conceal the latex hairline, I use a combination of spirit gum and Sinwax. I also got Sinwax at Ming Cosplay Shop and I'll put the link of this product down below in the description box as well. So you know where to find it. Um, to apply the Sinwax, I use this spirit gum. Because the Sinwax is very sticky of its own, it's a very sticky wax, but because I want to apply it with my fingers, I put petroleum jelly on my fingers and then get some Sinwax, make a tiny sort of worm with it and then glue that to my head. So that's why I need the spirit gum to actually attach the Sinwax which is covered in petroleum jelly. After you applied your Sinwax, make sure to powder it. I use translucent powder and apply it with a brush so I can take the shine away and the tackiness before I apply the rest of my makeup. Before I start applying foundation, I first apply a primer and I also apply it on my neck because I want to put some foundation on there as well. This foundation is from Miron. I use Miron's HD Pro foundation. I use a combination of the skin tones Light 4 and Light 2. And as you can see, I made my foundation a little bit too light, but it will get better with the contouring and the rest of the makeup. And also, my arms are the brownest parts of my body for as far as I can get a little tan. <laughs> After you apply your foundation make sure to put some powder on top of it to take the shine away to make sure it stays in place. For contouring my face I use a cool toned brown and I contour with a soft brush. Bart has higher cheekbones and a more sharp, squared jawline. 
So I make sure that I put them some shadow underneath my jawline to make it sharper and on my cheekbones to make my cheekbones a little higher. So for the brows I use a combination of a pencil and some black eyeshadow with a angled short brush. His brows are very thick and quite dark brown or black. I use black because my wig is black as well. So I make them a little bit thicker and a different shape and a little bit lower um, to my eyes. Now for the contour on my eyes and nose, I just use eyeshadows. I use cold brown tones and I start with the lightest tone and then darken it up with darker tones later on. I try to mimic the shape of Bart's nose by adding shadows and highlights. Here you can see that I made my nose bridge wider and the end of my nose a little bit rounder. Also for guys they have a very prominent uh, laryngeal protrusion or the Adam's apple. So I use some shadow to actually contour my Adam's apple so that it looks more manly. I'm also lightly tracing the place where the facial hair should be so that I have a guidance for when I put on the creep roll. He has a mustache, a goatee and um, some floofs on his jawline. With my makeup I usually go very heavy on the eyes because I think that the eyes actually make the character or make uh, a certain actor uh, in this case. So that's why I use very heavy shadows and contouring on my eyes. I use a liquid brown liner to actually change the shape of my eyes to make them more um, square. And I use a very dark shadow to create a new crease for my eyelids and I soften everything with brown eyeshadow. I also apply a little bit of mascara so that my lashes don't blend into the eye itself. I use this brown stiffer brush to stipple my beard. I just use some black eyeshadow and dab the brush in there and just stipple it on my face. So this is the creep wool and you can apply this with spirit gum which I used um, to apply my Cinewax with. You could either use Prosade, you can use Maastrix and I'm going to use Maastrix for my moustache and I'm going to use Prosade for the rest of the beard. And I decided to use Maastrix for the moustache and Prosade for the beard because Maastrix becomes um, hard when it's dry and Prosade stays very flexible. So on my jaw I prefer a flexible adhesive. I use Maastrix for my moustache because I do not want any hair in my mouth and Maastrix makes sure that the hair really stays in place. Also before I apply all the hair I First go over the areas with some makeup so that if I lose any hair that there's still a black shape that actually looks like a beard or a moustache. So what I do is I pluck a piece of crepe wool and then I make sure that the top part is the same length and then I apply some adhesive on my skin, make sure it's tacky. Then I press the hair onto my face, let it dry a little bit, then cut it in shape 
and I pluck the loose hairs out so that they don't fall off my face during the day. This is very, very time consuming, but I do think that if you do it correctly, it will give you a very natural finish. I still have to practice a lot, but it gets better every time. So here you can see that I am doing the rest of the beard with prosate instead of Mastrex. So actually for prosate you have to apply it on both sides, so that means that I would have to apply it on my face and on the hair. That doesn't work very well, so I just put it on my face and it stays in place, so we're good. So as you can see, is that for the goatee and the mustache, I use strings of hair and put them on my face all at once and then cut them shorter and for the rest of the beard I actually make a hair ball uh, by rolling it uh, between my hands and then pluck it out a little bit and then glue it to my face. And this also gives a very natural finish for a very scruffy beard. After I put it on my face, I make sure I press everything down. And then I pluck the loose hairs out, or either cut it a bit shorter. And I use a brush with some translucent powder to take away the stickiness and the shine. This method gives very natural sideburns and it's a very it's a faster and easier way to apply crepe wool. But for the mustache and goatee it wouldn't really work, so that's why I don't use it for those places. So finishing everything off with translucent powder and there we go so thank you everyone so much for watching this tutorial if you have any more questions or anything don't hesitate to ask me you can send me an email you can send me a private message or message me on Facebook thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video